Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on January 23rd, 2020, presenting you with a new moon reading for Twin Flames. This new moon reading is going to be valid for tomorrow's new moon, which is the 24th of January 2020, and the energy stays with us for about two weeks until we get into the full moon energy. During the new moon, we are creating new beginnings. So if there's anything that you need to let go of, now is the time before the new moon where you're going to want to be ushering in new energies, um, basically for yourself and your beloved and your sacred divine union. So thank you for joining me. My name is Lucida of Twin Flame RX. TwinFlameRx.com is my website, and I also have listings on the website and in the description box below for what services I offer. I'm a reader and a healer, so if you'd like to book a reading or a session, please check those places. Please don't hesitate if you're new to stick around, subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you're new or if you've been here for a while, hit that bell icon to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Again, that tomorrow is the new moon in Aquarius, and I am an Aquarius sun, so I've been going through a period of planning where I am deciding on where I want my life to go during this new moon. I'm doing a lot more planning and getting ready for a new cycle ahead. So let's see what kind of energies we have coming up for our twin, ourselves, and our sacred unions. So I did pull some cards prior to coming on and that was after prayer and meditation on this side we have divine feminine cards and on this side some divine masculine cards i'll end the reading with the Kuan Yin oracle and archangel michael we're going to start with the tarot reading let's start with the divine feminine today then we'll do the masculine and the union energies so for the divine feminine we're asking divine source to please give us some sort of indication of where we've come from where we are now energetically, if we're the Divine Feminine or if you're watching for the Divine Feminine and where the Divine Feminine energy is moving toward in the near future or how that energy is moving. One more shuffle, then we'll cut and we'll read. All right. Got some cards flipping over in the deck. Um, so... I am going to now cut the deck in two, take the top card, that is our recent pass for the Divine Feminine, we have the Judgment card. So yes, a lot of Divine Feminines are looking at the fact that they've been working on themselves, they've been trying to increase their consciousness, they are realizing that um, with the Judgment there's lots of epiphanies about the journey, about their life, about their twin. So that's a very positive major arcana card to receive. Presently, the Divine Feminine um, is in the energy or will be coming into the energy with this new moon. That is the Three of Wands here. we got the Three of Wands. Um, to me, this kind of means that the Divine Feminine is going to be realizing that his or her beloved is part of their divine plan, whether it be in spirit only or both spirit and on earth presently. You know, in the future, there might be this sacred union that physically grounds, but if you are not physically in union with your twin and your divine feminine, this is a time to really appreciate what this journey is about. It's about having the spiritual tie to another individual here on the planet, or maybe they're on the other side already, or they've not you know come to this planet yet they haven't incarnated yet so it really just depends on where you're at in your journey but knowing that this being a spiritual um, connection is important for spiritual growth and the awakening so further awakening like we saw with this judgment card in the recent past in the near future the divine feminine is going to be represented by this king of wands energy so because of this new moon in Aquarius, Aquarians are very humanitarian. They are, this is the sign where we start to want to interact with each other in groups. 
this is a leader, this King of Wands that we have coming up. So it's passion, it's fire. So if you've been feeling stagnant lately and you're a Divine Feminine or even a Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine energy is going to be reawakened and you're going to realize that you can create. That's what the Three of Wands in the present is about. But also going off and being a leader and being passionate about it is what's going to come of this moon cycle for the feminine. We're going to also look at what the masculine's energy is like and then what both energies are like combined. So stay tuned for more. I'm just pulling what the cards are that I, I pulled earlier in meditation. And these are the cards that are um, about surrender. They're called the Power of Surrender cards by Judith Orloff. And we all have to let go of something in order to create more energy or space for the new energy to come in. So what do the Divine Feminine need to let go of or surrender to with this new moon energy? We've got two cards. The first we'll do a read is surrender to wonder and awe. So be open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So flow is really important, just letting go of trying to control the situation with your twin is going to help you be in that state of flow. And that flow is going to allow you to create and attract your beloved naturally to you. And that moves us to this next card, surrender to trust. So surrender yourself to seeing things as wondrous and awesome in the world. And then also trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So if you're feeling uncertain about your path, this is confirmation that you are going in the right direction. As long as you feel inspired you feel excited. That's what these cards are showing, that you've recently undergone gone an epiphany, Divine Feminines, where you're feeling that you have it in you to work on your mission of being that light to others in the darkness, to shine that light brightly, to spread love, to spread this energy of being a twin, basically. Being a twin flame really means that you are usually empathic and you're sensitive to the needs and feelings of others but you are coming into your power and reali realizing that you're not a victim of circumstances that you can create passionately as a leader your future and you can be the leader in your union as well with your twin and go out into the world and shine your light and inspire your twin to magnetically come to you so I guess it, what this is kind of saying here is that the focus this new moon cycle is to remember the beautiful aspects of the journey, what you can uncover, and trust that everything is going to come together in the way that the divine wants it to come together, not your human ego, okay? Once you let go of trying to control the situation with your twin, things will just naturally flow. There was that card about the flow state. Now I am looking into the masculine energy. So we're going to clear the energy here so we can get a good read on the masculine. We're going to do the same thing with these Revelation Throw by Zach Long. I'm not sure if I said that they were a different card deck earlier, so I do list all the card decks in the description box if you're wondering. Okay, so Divine Source, please show us what's going on with the Divine Masculine, past, present, and future in regard to this new moon in Aquarius energy and in regard to how they feel about their Dia, their Divine Feminine Twin. So if you're a Divine Masculine watching, this is for you. If you're watching to learn more about what the Masculine's energy is like, this is for you too. Uh oh, had some things fall down over here. Okay, one more shuffle for the masculine energy card, and then we're going to going to cut the deck and see what comes up. Okay, in the recent past, oh, wow. So we have the Hierophant, present, the Six of Swords, and future, the Two of Swords. Oh, boy. Okay, so the Divine Masculine in this new moon energy 
or before this new moon energy, we've had the divine masculine knowing that they have to commit, but also understanding that some of the things that they have committed to in this 3D world with this Hierophant showing up may not be suitable for them. So they may have committed out of obligation or fear or guilt, or just because it was what society or their family or their religion or their you know, social class expected and wanted for them. The Divine Masculine is also having epiphanies that this might not be exactly what they want. Um, they do want to commit to this path to be with their twin. That's what that's showing up as to me. And in the present time, we have the Six of Swords energy here where the Divine Masculine is moving away from drama. So moving away from what doesn't serve them any longer, moving away from strife, negativity, other people's energy, other people's wants, needs that do not serve them any longer. So those rules that they were having to follow in society, maybe they couldn't be with the divine feminine because of all that. Or maybe they're breaking away from a karmic pattern and all of its destructive energies and they're moving from a high tension place to a lower tension place and closer to their divine mission and their twin. So this is how they feel about their twin. They're moving toward their twin and away from drama. But still in the near future, the divine masculine wants to have this new beginning with their twin because of this new moon energy. But we're seeing this two of swords, so they're kind of walking a tightrope on how to get that going. So we're going to look at how or what the divine masculine DMs can let go of in order to not feel that they have to make such a big choice between their prior life and their new life. Because the new life, the new beginning that they want to have with their divine feminine, or the new way that they want to conduct themselves, is bound to happen. Okay, So if you're a twin flame, it's bound to happen that you and your twin are going to unite. But the thing is that you need to learn certain lessons and both be energetically balanced. You need to be fully healed. So how can the masculine get closer to the goal of union with their twin? Okay, we've got two cards. What do they need to surrender? And these are very pertinent. Usually um, I see this when I do readings for usually divine feminines coming to me asking about the, the masculine twin of theirs. Okay, the first one here is surrender stress. So let go of stress. It says, take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So being grounded, being stable, taking deep breaths, realizing that you're not a machine or a robot, divine masculine, that's what's going to bring you closer to your twin and bring you this new energy or new beginning that you want to have with your twin and this full, or I'm sorry, this new moon energy is going to really help you to surrender your stress. Also surrender obsessive thinking. So masculines, if you are obsessing about a person or situation like your twin and your twin flame journey, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So that is a major problem I find with divine masculines. They do overthink. They have more of a logical brain when it comes to life in general, you know, more than women, I guess. But the divine masculine energy is a more logical step-by-step -step energy. Sometimes they don't think that things could come together the way that they naturally will and think that they have to plan every part of it. And so both the divine masculine and feminine feminine can do that. They might, you know, they both want to control the situation in different ways. But this says if you surrender your stress and obsessive overthinking about everything, you leave it to the divine then and you just say, spirit, God, source, universe, creator, I'm giving the situation to you. I, you know, know that I want to be with my twin. I could feel it in the bottom of my soul in my heart, but it doesn't look like it can happen in this 3D world. Can you help me make it happen? And then just let it go. Even the feminine can do this, but the divine masculine is being called to do this during this new moon energy to get them out of that feeling that they have to walk a tightrope, a tightrope between their former life and 
the life they want to move into. All right, so we're going to clear the energy again, and we're going to look at the union. So what kind of energy is possible? What kind of energy is flowing for both twins and where things are headed? Okay, so in the recent past, what we had energetically for both twins and their union, so how their union is progressing, how things are coming together in the recent past, the present and the future, Divine Source, please show us the energies through the cards. All right, so we've got um, the Wish card, the Nine of Cups. I accidentally turned it over, so I'm reshuffling everything here. But make a wish, because when that card comes out, you know, it is a perfect time to make a wish, because that card usually means your wish will come true during this new moon cycle. New moons are about making wishes or sending the universe your wish list of things that you'd like to happen and then letting go and allowing things to flow, but also listening for cues or clues to what steps to take toward those goals. They may be very baby steps, but if you're not listening and asking the divine to provide you with clues and urges, you might miss what you're supposed to do, but it'll come around again. So don't worry, just try to be more open. All right, twins. Recent past, present, future for both twins. Okay, these look good. All right, in the recent past, we've got the lover's card coming up. So both twins were really thinking about each other. This is a twin flame soul connection card, usually saying that, you know, you've shared a past life with your beloved. You may have shared some great experiences in this life together, stuff you're never going to forget. That's in the recent past. In the present, we've got page of pentacles energy. So still there is this feeling that you know, both twins have to hide themselves a little, that they can't be fully authentic to each other, that they can't totally show their, you know, true self to each other. That needs to go, though, to bring in this energy of cooperation here with the Two of Pentacles, where this union can be grounded in the physical world. Yes, there may be some juggling to do, but this is an infinite loop here, and that is what, you know, is telling me that this is divine, that Whatever happens, um, there's going to be like a new start to some aspect of every twin's journey with this new moon coming up in Aquarius. And maybe it'll be that cooperation that you feel between yourself and your twin. And if you're not with your twin, make it about what you can do to better the world in your own little way, because that is something that you're going to be using the energy of your connection to manifest. And that's one of the twin flame goals is to be of service to humanity and to have a mission, you know, to be on your mission of spreading light and love and, and bringing truth and opening the eyes and the consciousness of others around you. So if you're on that mission already, that's going to magnetize your twin to you. So these have been some very positive energies and I'm going to close out with two more inspiring messages one from the Alana Fairchild's Kuan Yin Oracle, our feminine archetype. Kuan Yin's message is about the spring mother, Magu. Magu, goddess of spring, healing and transformation brings you blessings now. You are asked to remember that light can come from even the darkest beginnings. So yes, it may seem like because we're in winter in North America or the northern hemisphere of the planet that, you know, we are having some dark days. but Spring only ever comes after winter. The challenge can be to trust that winter will end. Exploring the unknown parts of yourself will result in self-discovery and a healing rebirth for you. So this is a perfect card, and I never look at these cards before I read them to you, and it just resonates so well, and it very it follows what we saw in the cards here and what this astrological lunar cycle is going to be about. It's going to be about new beginnings, right? And the last card here is our Divine Masculine Archetype, Archangel Michael, protector of twin flames and their unions. Archangel Michael wants us to, to pay attention to our dreams at this time. So we're going to thank Archangel Michael for tucking us into bed tonight and helping us enjoy a wonderfully restful 
night's sleep. Archangel Michael, we invite you into our dreams as our teacher, our guide, and our healer. Please allow us to understand our twin flame journey, our twin, why we're here listening to a tarot card reading instead of interacting with them. Okay, please help us to understand them on a more spiritual level, and please bring us guidance. Like I said before, when you let go and you trust the divine, you are going to allow for this guidance to come to you in terms of urges of signs that you should take a certain step or make a certain move. Sometimes you'll be acting out of ego, but you got to practice. If you act out of ego and your twin retreats a little, then it wasn't divinely guided, perhaps. Sometimes it is divinely guided to get them to break out of their shell. So you really can't make any mistakes on the journey. You just sometimes can take little detours that cause things to, you know, take a little longer to come together. But eventually you will experience that divine union if you do trust and if you do relax and if you do allow um, things to happen in your journey. So I want to thank you so much for watching this if you got to the end and I'm sending you some Reiki healing right now for yourself and your beloved and hoping that you have beautiful new beginnings with this new moon. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Comment if this resonates with you or if you found it valuable.